Today I'm going to talk about some of the Generation 10 leaks and just information about Gaia, which is the codename for Generation 10. If you don't know, everything with like gaming in general always has a codename, so the current Switch 2, like the next console, codename is Ounce for some reason. It usually has nothing to do with the actual like game or console, like the GameCube's codename was Dolphin, Scarlet and Violet is Titan. Generation 10 is seeming pretty interesting right now, but before we get to that guys, if you don't mind leaving a like on this video, subscribing to the channel, and comment something down below about how you feel about these leaks and what do you want to see in Generation 10. All the support goes a really long way and I really, really appreciate it. So, like I said, the Generation 10 codename is Gaia, which definitely doesn't have anything to do with the actual game itself. It's just a code name. And what's kind of crazy is that they even use code names anymore because every single time there is a code name, everybody knows what they're talking about. You know what I mean? Like code names don't really hide anything anymore because everyone already knows what the code name means. So in a way, it's kind of useless to have a code name. I guess the only real reason is probably just to not give us the actual name of the game. So we know that there's going to be two versions, just like always, you know, the typical Pokemon game, you know, Scarlet and Violet, you know, Diamond and Pearl, whatever. There's always two, and apparently one starts with K and one starts with N, and those are apparently the Japanese names, so in America, I, I don't know what it's going to be called. The leaker may have that information, I don't know, but as far as the public knows, we don't have the, like, actual name of the game, which I'm glad, I don't really want to know the name, but it's going to be interesting to see what they actually do name the next games, you know, they're going to name it a color, you know, how Scarlet and Violet's a color, or Red and Blue, whatever, or are they going to go with some sort of, like, element, like Diamond and Pearl, or whatever. So I'm pretty curious to see what they're going to do with that, and apparently the main, the big thing about Gen 10 is going to be island theme, so it's going to be an archipelago, which, if you don't know what an archipelago is, it's just like a large group of islands. Like one area with just a ton of islands. Which means Generation 10 is going to be based on some type of country with a lot of islands. Which, a lot of people are saying Greece. I don't think we've had any leaks about where it's actually going to take place. I think everyone is just assuming Greece. And it's also believed to be European. So I was thinking like the Philippines at first, but I guess if it is a European game, the Philippines wouldn't reach that, you know wouldn't really go side and side, hand in hand, whatever, with European theme, because I immediately thought of the Philippines just because of how many islands the Philippines has. There are a ton of islands, but there are also other countries in Europe that have a lot of islands. Sweden has over 267,000 islands. Norway, there's Finland, Greece, Croatia, Great Britain. Like, there really are a lot of different European countries that we could actually have this game be based on if it's going to be an archipelago like style map and i think there was i think there was a tweet from like riddler q or something that also said like just be prepared there's too much water or something like that which would also that would really line up with what the leaks like the official leaks from centro leaks have stated with the archipelago and alongside that the leaker also said that it's going to be released on the switch one and the next console so it might be a dual release game which I think is going to be a pretty good idea because the Switch has sold over like a hundred something million units, meaning a lot of people have it. And if they release Pokemon Gen 10 on the Switch 1 and 2, they're really going to maximize their sales because not everybody is going to be able to buy the next Nintendo console because, you know, it's a couple hundred dollars. I'm going to assume it's probably around 350 maybe $400 max, which is a lot of money. And they're not going to be able to expect everybody to get a switch 2 within a year or two you know what i mean and they're gonna want to have gen 10 get as many sales as possible because that's just what a company wants that's what a company does you know what i mean and especially with pokemon because it's a huge franchise and scarlet and violet sold extremely well partially probably because there are so many switches out there so with gen 10 i feel like the release date could probably be pushed back a little bit because if it is going to be a dual release that means they're going to obviously have to wait for the switch 2 to come out and apparently we're going to get the announcement of the switch 2 within the next couple of months there was a tweet a couple of months ago about saying you know within the next fiscal year which means basically within one year from that exact tweet going out means we're going to get the announcement of the next console, not the release, just like the official announcement. And hopefully that means the next console is released maybe next year, maybe 2026. I don't think we have any like leaks about the next console like release date or anything like that, but it's kind of interesting to think about because they're going to have to obviously release Gen 10 after the Switch 2 is released, which kind of gives them like, like a specific amount of time that they have to actually release the Switch 2 and Generation 10, because obviously Pokemon is the biggest franchise out there, so Nintendo's going to want to align the Switch 2 release date 
pretty close to Generation 10, which also could give them more boost for the holidays, sales, and everything like that. And there's also like this chat between two people within Game Freak, which is kind of interesting. I'm not gonna like read it word for word, but I'll, I'll give you guys a quick, you know, rundown of what it says. So they're basically just kind of talking talking about ideas for Generation 10, obviously referring to Gaia as Gen 10, so Gaia means Generation 10 of Pokemon, and Titan means Scarlet and Violet. So it really seems like the early plans for Generation 10 is to kind of make it go alongside Scarlet and Violet. It really seems like they wanted these games to be connected. I have no idea if that's still going to be happening, but apparently this is what this but that's really what it sounds like from this conversation. So it says we're planning a game with an island theme after Titan, Scarlet and Violet. So it would be better if it didn't overlap with that. Blah, blah, blah. You know, it's just talking about random stuff here. Perhaps changing the scale or size of the island. So they're talking about islands here. Then he says the next new title we're working on involves thinking about what can be done on an island. And this might overlap with that. Just having an island isn't necessarily a major concern. We've depicted islands before, like like Sun and Moon, however, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then they're imagining a remote island and isolated floating island, which I guess that would mean just one floating island. You know, I'm thinking about Fortnite, you know, shout out to OG season with that floating island. But then the other guy said we prefer to avoid the idea of stopping by other islands on the way there. So I don't really know exactly what they're meaning. You know, it's, it's a little bit vague in a way, which is supposed to be vague, but like, also, at the same time, I was like, why is this information even in, like, Game Freak's data files? Like, why do they even need this stuff? You know what I mean? One of the people said, the idea of Pokemon living on islands, adapting to their environments, and, and affecting islands' environments with their power feels like it might overlap. The island setting seems to be a way to avoid human attention, so perhaps that's where we should focus the conversation. If we can avoid using an island, that would be ideal. If not, we should think about ways to over avoid overlap. If the story revolves around the ancient turtle using its power to hide the island that might overlap with what we're thinking, the ancient turtle originally lived in Atlantis in the Titan region, which is Scarlet and Violet. And if you don't know what they're talking about, they're talking about Terrapagos, which is the legendary Pokemon from the Hidden Treasure DLC of Scarlet and Violet, which is at least, that's what I'm assuming that they're talking about, which is kind of weird to think about, like, why would that have anything to do with generation 10 like why were they even thinking about that pokemon being used in generation 10 because typically in a, a game's own generational game you know we don't usually get like other legendary pokemon being kind of the main focus if you know what i mean like sure maybe they can make an appearance or something but typically it's not really like for the storyline purpose which is kind of interesting to me so it seems like they're just really trying to focus on some sort of island thing, and they, and I, I don't know what they're doing with Terrapagos, there's no more information about that, at least I'm pretty sure it's Terrapagos, especially since they mentioned, you know, Scarlet and Violet or Titan. But I guess we'll see what other news and leaks come out about this. At the time of me recording this, there's nothing new about Generation 10. This stuff is pretty interesting too, because we obviously haven't heard anything officially from Game Freak or Nintendo in a while about anything Pokemon related. So it's kind of cool to see, you know, some things. And I'm excited about Gen 10. I map would be pretty cool, like a Greece themed region. I like the water idea. I know Hoenn region had a lot of water and a lot of people didn't like that, but I really like that region. So I think it's fine as long as they don't obviously give us too much water. And it seems like they're, they don't want too many islands. It seems like they definitely do want islands, obviously, if it's an archipelago, but they don't want, they don't want it to be too many to the point of it being just like really annoying. So I guess we're going to see. I'm really looking forward to more leaks coming out about Generation 10. Let me know what you guys think about all of this information. What do you guys expect, I guess? And how do you feel about Generation 10 being an archipelago themed island? Probably about Greece, most likely, just because I also think that there was some like hints within Scarlet and Violet that kind of suggested Greece, but we'll see. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, guys, and I'll see you next time.